Hi, this is Brian Forster, and this is your invitation to join us on tour in June 2020. We'll be exploring the streets of Cusco, the Inca capital, and we'll be looking at the difference between the megalithic work here and the much, much later Inca work. Now this megalithic wall, where every stone is a different shape and size, was definitely not made by the Inca, but by an older civilization. During the tour, there will be lots of festivities going on in the streets of Cusco, because it is the uh, annual Inti Raimi Festival of the Sun. We'll also be going to Sacsayhuaman, where you see these massive megalithic blocks and this huge gate. Again, not built by the Inca, but inherited by them. Nearby is Kenko, which is a labyrinth, probably mainly uh, natural, but then later altered, made wider. And uh, this too was probably not constructed by the Inca, but was inherited by them. As well, we'll be going to Pisac, located on a mountaintop in the sacred valley of Peru, outside of Cusco. And the Inti Punku, or Sun Gate, located about an hour's drive south of Cusco. This again is an example of where the Inca discovered something and then altered it. They discovered these megalithic stones and then built on top and around them. Near to this site is the Andahuaylias Museum in the small town of Andahuaylias. And here we're going to be inspecting the Waiki skeleton, which has been DNA tested three times. And doctors are confounded as to what or who Waiki was. And in the nearby village of Wado, there's a museum that has this fascinating uh, series of ancient plumbing parts made out of basalt stone. And also has these strange glyphs that no one has been able to decipher. No one knows what culture created these. And close to that location is Tipong, which is a fantastic example of Inca hydrology. This is an absolute Inca masterpiece of terraforming. And near Lake Titicaca, we'll be visiting the Chulpa Towers, used as funeral towers, but how they were originally constructed is a mystery. Again, incredibly tight-fitting megalithic blocks. Unlikely to have been made by the Inca, but inherited by them. And close to this location is Amaru Muru, another interesting location. Uh, these portals carved into the red sandstone bedrock. And no tour would be complete without going across the border into Bolivia and exploring Puma Punku. Supposedly, new excavations of Puma Punku will begin in September of 2019, so we should be able to witness new discoveries. And why is it that there are these strange magnetic anomalies at Puma Funku and Tiwanaku? The compass goes crazy on some of the andesite blocks, including the H blocks but does nothing when you put the compass close to the red sandstone blocks, which is quite curious. And Tiwanaku is where we find the sunken temple with all of these strange looking heads. 
and we'll be seeing the Inti Raimi Festival on the 24th of June in Cusco, or actually more specifically at Sacsayhuaman. This is an absolutely magnificent spectacle. And we will have front row seats. The ceremony dates back to the 15th century. And no tour, of course, would be complete without a good visit to Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Inca. Truly one of the great wonders of the world and one of the greatest accomplishments of the Inca civilization. But here too, we find evidence of megalithic construction. So it's clear that the Inca found this site and then built around the megalithic constructions that they discovered. So that's the Inti Raimi Inca Celebration of the Sun Tour in June of 2020. We'll also be doing an extension of Paracas and Nazca, looking at the elongated skulls, the fact that they had red hair, And even their god, Khan, is shown as a redhead, which is an indication they are one of the most fascinating ancient cultures in all of Peru. They also did uh, brain surgery that was actually successful, as much as 50% survival rate. This is the uh, Teo Museum in Paracas, Peru, that we'll be visiting. And we'll also be flying over the Nazca Lines from the city of Ica. There in the, almost the middle of the frame is the famous whale. And here you can see the astronaut. And a lot of the so-called runways. There is the spider in the middle of the frame. So you can see how complex the Nazca lines are. We'll also be flying over Palpa that has even more of the geoglyphs and lines. And once again, lots of the different lines and there in the middle of the frame is the parrot geoglyph. So once again, this will be in June of 2020, from June 17th to the 27th, and then the extension.